former Prime Minister Imran Khan has been arrested today on multiple corruption charges. It's been a day of chaos and tension here in Islamabad. Earlier today, paramilitary troops stormed into a courthouse to detain Imran Khan, who was attending a court appearance. The arrest was carried out on charges brought by the National Accountability Bureau, Pakistan's anti-corruption agency. In a video provided by Khan's party, Pakistan Tariqi and Saf, PTI, we can see the moment the paramilitary forces broke a window to reach Khan and apprehend him. The former prime minister watched impassively as the chaos unfolded, wearing dark sunglasses. Another video sent by PTI shows paramilitary troops arriving in cars, armed with batons, before Khan's arrest. The scenes were tense and violent, leading to a protest in the country. Tragically, a supporter of Imran Khan was shot dead by the police during the protest, which erupted into clashes between the demonstrators and law enforcement. A truly disturbing turn of events. Imran Khan in a pre-recorded video said, By the time you receive these words of mine, I will have been detained on incorrect charges. The Pakistani constitution, which guarantees our rights and democracy, has been disregarded. I believe I am being apprehended to prevent me from continuing my political path, fighting for the fundamental rights of our nation and exposing the corruption within the current government. Strong words from Imran Khan, who claims he has always followed the law and accuses the government of conspiring against him. Imran Khan's arrest comes as no surprise, given the mounting legal cases and arrest warrants against him. He has consistently maintained that these charges are politically motivated, and today's events seem to validate his claims. This arrest will undoubtedly intensify the political turmoil in Pakistan, as his supporters are likely to rally behind him in protest. Indeed, the political landscape in Pakistan has been tumultuous since Imran Khan was ousted from power last year. But the implications of his arrest go beyond politics. Pakistan is currently facing a severe economic crisis. Pakistan's economic challenges are mounting, with soaring inflation and an urgent need for financial stability. The government has been trying to secure a loan program from the International Monetary Fund to revive the economy, but progress has been slow. The recent floods have devastated farmland, affecting millions of people and causing significant economic damage. Inflation has reached record levels, with the cost of basic goods becoming unaffordable for many. Pakistani citizens are feeling the strain, as the rising prices make it increasingly difficult to make ends meet. A dire situation indeed. The arrest of Imran Khan has further intensified the challenges Pakistan faces, both politically and economically. Let's hope for a peaceful resolution and stability in the country. Please comment, like, share, and subscribe.